The 2017 Faulkner Auto Racing Championships are just around the corner, and here is a first look at what we are in for. There will be three divisions of Fark Racing this season, all of which will be fully covered here on the Fark Racing Network. First up is the National Tour, the bridge between grassroots short track racing and the big leagues, the Fark Low Dollar Series featuring a brand new composite body by Cromwell Raceworks and the biggest, most diverse schedule of all three of the Fark divisions. 24 race weekends are slated across 14 US states and the Canadian province of Ontario. Next up is the Fark Larry Lemon Auto Sales Super Series. 10 race weekends of late model action from the Midwest to the East Coast. And finally, we have the stars of the Fark Truck Series doing battle eight times in the 2017 season on short tracks across the Midwest with a couple of dirt tracks thrown into the mix as well. Let's take a closer look at the schedules for each of the three FARC divisions, starting with the Low Dollar Series. We've got all different kinds of tracks lined up for you this season. 10 short tracks, 5 dirt tracks, 4 speedways, and 4 road courses. And the new Master Spark 4 Crown Race format was created to highlight the diversity of the Low Dollar Series schedule. One double points race with an expanded field of 42 cars will be held at each of the four track types. Starting with the season opener on the high banks of the Two Mile Texas World Speedway, the road course event of the Four Crown will be held north of the border at the Mosport International Raceway in Ontario, followed by the short track round at the Indianapolis Raceway Park, and the finale of the Four Crown will be held on the Dirt Mile at the DeCoin State Fairgrounds. And once again, the Master Spark Four Crown races are all double points, so that will be four opportunities to give your championship effort a huge boost with a good finish in those events. Most of the other races during the season will be held under the single race format, one race with a maximum starting field of 36 cars, but at four of our short track events, the field will be split into two races. The double headers will be held at the Sayre Speedway in Alabama, the Albuquerque Speed Bowl in New Mexico, Elko Speedway in Minnesota, and at the quarter mile indoor dirt oval at the River Spirit Expo Center in Oklahoma. And finally, to cap off the 2017 FARC Low Dollar Series, you may have noticed the return of the legendary Rockford 200. This year's edition of the 200 will be a hybrid of the single and double header race formats, a 60 car, three stage elimination race. And just like what we've seen at this race in the past, we expect a huge number of teams to flood the quarter mile in Love Spark, Illinois for a grueling qualifying process. The season hasn't even started yet and we already have well over 100 teams telling us to expect them there. And now let's have a look at the Super Series and Truck Series schedules. The Super Series will start their season by joining the Low Dollar Series in Nashville, Tennessee, and then they move on to Toledo Speedway in Ohio, where they will share the night with the Truck Series opener. The other Super and Truck Series companion races include Flat Rock Speedway in Michigan, the July 4th weekend at Rockford Speedway, and the season finale at Salem Speedway, held on the same weekend as the Low Dollar Series. The Truck Series also has a couple of dirt races lined up at the Knoxville Raceway in Iowa, and a companion event with the Low Dollar Series at the DeCoin State Fairgrounds. And finally, we'll have a look at the points system that will be used across all three FARC divisions in 2017. First place pays 100 points, then it's 20 points back to second place, 10 points back to third. Each position from 4th to 33rd pays two fewer points, and then 34th to 42nd will go 9, 8, 7, all the way down to 1. There are also some bonus points up for grabs, 20 points for the pole, 5 points for leading a lap, and 10 points each for leading the most laps and gaining the most positions from the start of the race. And going back to the Master Spark 4 Crown races seen in the Low Dollar Series, all race points and all bonus points will be doubled in those events. And in other Low Dollar Series news, the Knockout Championship format known as the Fark Off, introduced in 2016, will not be returning for the 2017 season. At the request of teams and fans alike, the Low Dollar Series will continue to use the traditional year-long championship battle. As you may recall, the Farkoff was introduced in order to include the part-time teams and drivers who won races in the championship battle, but ultimately those same people it was designed to reward 
had to work overtime just to make it to the crucial championship races. We saw several of the championship contenders having to hop between rides during the Farkov, so ultimately the decision was made to once again decide the championship with a year-long points battle, which emphasizes the importance of making it to the track every week. But Chuck Johnson, who won under the Farkov format as a rookie, will still be the defending series champion. And that just about wraps up this sneak peek of the 2017 FARC season. If you'd like to get in on the action, you can head right on over to the EFR forums at efr1.foramotion.com, where there are still spots available in all three of the FARC series. In the meantime, the FARC Low Dollar Series season opener at Texas World Speedway is just around the corner, and you can catch it right here on the FARC Racing Network.